Christmas in Florida is a mite different than tradition allows. Snowball fights are kind of rare, and you're more likely to get invited to go water skiing than sleigh riding. But some traditions are the same, no matter what part of the woods you find yourself in. Oh, that ain't a hint of daylight in here. This thing's plugged up like an elephant with a nose cold. Well, Daddy always said, if it don't fit, use a bigger hammer. Hey, I sure am glad it was this thing clogging up my chimney, not some guy in a red suit. <gasps> All right, it's got pictures. I love books with pictures. Hey, maybe Crit will read it to me. I love when someone reads me books with pictures. We've had some of these ornaments since we lived in a tree. Come to think of it, we still live in a tree. We just took it apart and put it together different. Yes, sirree. You just don't find craftsmanship like that anymore. All right, all right. It's a door, not a sparring partner. Hey, Lil. I ran all the way over. You only live 300 feet away, Coots. Oh. What happened to you? Was you chasing airboats again? You leave me alone about that. You're the one told me airboats was my biggest fans. Who's pounding on the door, Lil? Just some dirty old coots, Pop. And I brung a book. It's got pictures. Leave it to you to bring a dirty book for my son to read. It ain't a dirty book, Mr. C. It was in my chimney. What other kind of book does someone hide in there? Hey, look at this. Chris Kringle, 1225 North Pole Street, Arctic Circle, top of the world. Chris Kringle? Ain't that a breakfast cereal? It's Santa Claus, Coots. St. Nick's real name. You mean Santa Claus is a fake name? It isn't fake, Coots. It's more like a pseudonym. Or you know, a nom de plume. A nom de guerre. A stage name, Coots. Yeah, a stage name. You know, like Engelbert Humperdinck? It's Swedish or something. You mean Santa Claus ain't even American? The point is, boys, this book belongs to him. Maybe it's his record book when he sees you when you're sleeping and when he knows when you're awake. You mean this book might know if I've been bad or good? Ah, for goodness sake. Hey, look. Wow. All right. It's a moving picture book. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In we can't sell it, Ernie. It ain't ours. It's Santa's. We gotta give it back. Uh, I don't see no harm in making the Making an honest buck. Sure, Slider. It's like, like, a reward. 
Yeah, a reward. I don't know, Ernie. You shouldn't get a reward for doing what's right in the first place. Why not? Because... Because... Because a sense of right and wrong is what separates us from the animals. I thought we was animals. Ah, that's your pop talking, Lil. Someone who can't hold on to a magic book don't deserve to keep it. They should pay to get it back. Santa? Santa should pay to get his own book back? Well, why not? He never did me no favors. Never did me no favors. What? Didn't he give you presents this Christmas? Ah, oh, that was yesterday. What's he done for me lately? All I know is, if it was Coots what found it... Everyone's gonna know about it by dark. Sure. And someone else will get a hold of Santa and claim the reward. Did you hear that, Mommy? Did you hear what they said? I hide. Yeah. I hide. Your magic book. Santa Claus. Who are these guys trying to kid? Not us. <laughs> yeah. Still, magic or not, it must be valuable, no? Valuable. <laughs> yeah. Because, my ursine friend, the amazing thing about a dancing bear is not how well it dances, but that it dances at all. Dancing bears. <laughs> yeah. Say, Lil, I was wondering, since that there book's gonna be gone before too long... If, if we could look at a story. Sure. Great idea, Slider. Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, little. Books ain't like bubble gum. Bubble gum? Sure. You can't chew them till the flavor's gone. The story's always there. All right. Dad's gonna call up old Mr. Kringle himself, and he'll come down this way and get his book back. I expect I'll miss this doohickey after it's gone. It's the most exciting thing to happen around these parts since they outlawed Daniel Boone Caps. Meantime, ain't nothing set in between now and then except a big old swim. What do you say, Slider, Ernie? Uh, I reckon a good soak never hurt. Never hurt no turtle or beaver. Sure thing. Or a raccoon either. Last one in is a taxidermy display. To taxidermy? Gave me a start. I thought that water moccasin was gonna have you with a side of fries. Shoot, I've worn meaner belts than that thing. Say, it's coming on dark. Yeah, buddy, we best move our tails. Pop will skim me alive if I'm late. I'll have to run like cheese in a microwave to make it home before full dark. I'll see you guys. All right, little. Take it easy. easy. Yeah, see ya. I had a good long talk with Mr. Kringle today, Lil. I sure hope the North Pole is in my calling circle. What did he say, Pop? Hmm, he said he'd be delighted to pay us a visit tomorrow to retrieve his book. <clears throat> what was he like? Well, I'd have to say he was jolly. Yep, jolly's the very word. Well. How about we have ourselves one last little story before we say bon voyage to our bookish friend? Um... Pop? Yes? 
Well, you see, I kind of borrowed the book today so I could show it to Ernie and Slider. Hmm. Well, no harm done, I suppose. Is there? I ain't sure. I mean, we all went swimming and we was horsing around and what with one thing or another and it getting dark and me having to hurry home on account of your tan my height if I wasn't back well. I guess it was kind of preoccupied, you might say. And so, regarding the book, that is, I guess it became what they call shuffled on a short-term memory, which is to say, I mean, I... Forgot it. Oh, well. I guess I'd better get my boots on. Are you sure this is where you left it, Little? It was right here, Pop. Well, there's nothing here but a note. If y'all want to see your book alive again, you'll put toys by this tree by the Mari Noon. Here's a page to prove we ain't kidding. P.S. <coughs> there better be a dump truck for me, too. Sign the book mappers. Huh. Well, this certainly is not socially redeeming behavior. Hey, tore a page out? Those... Those animals! There's only one creature in these parts who's mean enough to hold Santa's book from ransom and smart enough to write this note. Greasy Weasel. Weasel. I never get no credit. What are we gonna do, Pop? Not much we can do, son. Not till Mr. Kringle gets here anyhow. Tell me a story, Greasy. <laughs> G I ain't gonna tell you about no rabbits, Palmy. G the rabbits. That's good. A hair raising story. G G oh. Shut up. Your Honor, I didn't do it. You can't pin this rap on me, copper. I want to see the warden. I, I. All right, all right, all right. Keep your shirt on. Whatever you're selling, we ain't interested, mister. <laughs> Hold it there, youngster. You better think twice about slamming the door in my face. I'll get one of my elves to make a pair of moccasins out of you. Elves? You mean you're... In the flesh, you fuzzy pipe cleaner with an attitude. And if you don't let me in out of this Martian heat ray you people call Florida sunshine, the color of your Christmas presents is going to be limited to basic black. Basic black? Yep, I'm talking about coal, Sonny. You must be little. Mm. In the flesh. <laughs> what there is of it. Well, they thought ahead when they named you Small Friar. Where's your... Oh, Mr. Kringle. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to finally meet you. Well, how do you do, Mr. C? Listen, I've been meaning to tell you I'm real sorry about that little red wagon when you were five. There was a mix-up in the orders department, you see, and, and I didn't know about it till I got your letter. My wagon? Gosh, Santa, I'd forgotten all about that wagon. Well, I'll make it up to you somehow. I promise. You wrote Santa a letter when you were five? Gosh, Pop, that must have been a long time ago. What kind of wagon was it? A covered one? That's enough out of you, young man. And I do wish you'd learn how to address your elders with a little more dignity. He wrote the letter in crayon. Periwinkle, wasn't it, Mr. C? <laughs> well, anyhow... I uh, Santa, about your book. My book? Oh, I'm so happy to get it back. I can't tell you how much we missed it at the North Pole. We don't have cable yet, you know. I'm afraid I have some bad news, Santa. You see, your book has suffered in a, an unfortunate circumstance, which isn't necessarily irremediable, but which is not exactly favorable. It got stolen. 
Stolen? Well, fry me for a potato. Wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Greasy Weasel took it. And whenever Greasy Weasel gets a cold, Bommy Bear sneezes. So he's probably part of this, too. Wow. You're good. I ain't Santa Claus for nothing, Bristlebrush. They're demanding a bag full of toys by noon or they'll destroy the book. Oh, and that'll be all she wrote. Okay. Okay, let me put my thinking cap on. Say, that's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that myself? So what do we do, Santa? Hmm? Oh, wh why exactly what they asked, of course. High noon tomorrow, there'll be a weasel and a bear who are going to have a big, fat surprise under their tree. Ho, 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 yeah! Wow. Would you look at this? <laughs> yeah. I hope he brought batteries, too. Come on. Let's get this thing out of here. It ain't going nowhere. What's in that thing, anyway? Maybe we can unload it. Then again, maybe it will unload on you. Ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus! Up close and personal. And you've been bad boys. I blame society. I'll take that book now, gentlemen. Book? Oh, the book. Sure thing, Santa, <laughs> oh, Mr. Claus. Uh, we were just bringing it back to you. <laughs> Here you go. What should we do with him, Santa? Well, I'll tell you. It isn't like Santa to let someone go away empty-handed. So instead of a bunch of fake toys, how would you boys like a big, shiny, life-size, real dump truck? Dump truck? Do you mean it? Really? I, I mean, really, a dump truck? Oh, absolutely. Okay, Coots, back her in. For you two, I want you to get out of there and clean up. And I mean clean up your whole act. And maybe you'll get a couple of real toy dump trucks next Christmas. Yes, sir. Hey, Santa. Thanks for letting me drive the dump truck. Oh, how can I ever repay you, good folks? How about telling us your favorite story, Santa? My favorite one? Why, that's easy. Ho, ho, ho! Like old Santa said, that's pretty much all she wrote. And there's one more thing. Santa finally gave Mr. Critter his little red wagon. Hey, stop the car too. Look what else I found in my chimney. It's Santa's magic toaster. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha